Huh? The hell does that mean? Oh, look at that. You can see, you can see our audio is. Yeah, Transcript. No, is there? Oh my god! Come, 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 come. Go to the transcript. Hi, I'm Jake. This is the podcast. We talk about Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not what you sound like at all. No one sounds like that. Maybe like. The voice actor in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged for Serenity kind of sounds like that. <laughs> anyway. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. Tonight I'm joined by my fellow members, Lachlan. Hello. And Bragg. Hello. Nobody else this evening. Uh, ben is doing other things. And and... Logan is dead. <laughs> he died. Rest in peace. He's with God now. Yeah, but he'll come back. That's how the Catholics work, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's Thursday, so that's why Ben's. Yeah, talking. reincarnation. Oh, Catholics are big on reincarnation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, this is our first podcast in quite some time, even though. It's the first one last... that's making it out. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of those. Um, even though every time that we've done one of these, we said they're going to be a lot more regular now. So, um, I'm not going to prom- say that. Yeah, yeah, we promise to be less regular. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Which at Something this point would with be the... being more regular. <laughs> Something gargled with the audio. You must have misheard us. Um, so, I won't speak about how... Oh, no, I'll, I'll, we'll delve into it a little bit. How has our time been in lockdown for Yu-Gi-Oh? I will start with Lachlan. Me? Are you sure you want to start with me? Let's start with Bragg. Um, so, yeah, this lockdown began when I uh, went to start playing Sky Strikers. I then proceeded to just not think about Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, I mean, actually, I've thought about past Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Um, including the... Other podcasts I didn't release. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. I yeah. made that your job at some point so that I could stop being blamed for it. What? And I was like, ah, Bragg does podcasts now. What? Yeah, because it wouldn't render. So I oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm talking about the um, the flashback. The Oh, memory, yeah. Where it's still live on our Twitch. <laughs> the VOD is still there. It's only going to be there for a little bit. Oh. Oh, did Twitch VODs expire? Don't tell me you downloaded it, please. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go briefly. Nah, I hit the record button on OBS at the same time. But yeah, we did it live for some reason, and then we just... So, I mean, I guess we're due to do the next set soon. But stay tuned for that. Whatever. Um, then we've been playing uh, Edison Format a fair bit. Yeah, Edison Format's been really great. It's been something that's sort of surged in popularity only recently. Like, pretty much like maybe two or three weeks before we came out of lockdown it was like a hype thing yeah um and like i don't mind it it's a little less brain numbing than goat yeah so and i'm keen than- to give it a go it's just chasing up those cards again is really annoying well that's and that's where i had the benefit because like that's where a lot of the collections i acquired were from that f- format mm. so yeah people played that format Brad was my age when that format was happening so he had a lot of the stuff already. Yeah, so I had my stuff and then I also have spare stuff too. Yeah, yeah, but he he pretty much had enough to build eight full decks. And not including the extra decks, but we'd share those. Yeah. Did you build a fairy one? No, I haven't, like, I haven't built a no, fairy No, we built the decks. <laughs> we, we've based it off the top you? decks. I'll build, build, I'll build the fairy top one. Decks. I'll build the fairy one. Yeah, for when we want to lose. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, I'm not sure... <laughs> the death stare I'm getting off Jake. I'm afraid to look at him. <laughs> and then I'm just starting to think about it if and how I will get back into the game. I don't see me doing anything till next year. What's coming out next year? Oh, I just like... So it's Josh. Just like regionals and stuff, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, they're starting extravaganzas and things at the yeah, moment. Yeah, the... I, that Coles extravaganza I'm just like... Tempted by... Actually, I don't think it's going to be Coles at this time, either. No, no, they've got a new premises. Yeah. But we'll delve into that stuff. Does Game Traders MacArthur have a new premises? Yeah, but we'll delve into that the new huh. Um, And then, yeah, so I'm just waiting for Crosshouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's that. Um, Lachlan. Okay, yeah, yeah, So, I've been playing Edison. Mm. I've been maining... Bragg's kind of been maining gadgets in a way. Yeah. And I've been maining uh, quick draw... Uh, Dandy Warrior. That's what it is, right? Yeah. Um, it's been really fun. I've really been enjoying that. I've also been working on 
some other decks. Um, <laughs> namely, I've not worked even a little bit on Dynamist in the time I've been away. I've True, you've had a another really deck. good break. I looked over locals tonight and I saw you playing it. I mean, it wasn't really locals, it was just... That's just the deck I had for the extravaganza that was just kind of thrown together to trigger in turbo. Yeah. Like, I got sick of Mystic Mine. With desires in it. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but, but, um, but yeah, there's a deck on the horizon as far as I'm aware for you. Yes! Sword Soul. Oh, you're going Sword Soul? No. No, he's not. Penguins. No. Penguins? Penguin. 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 Oh, yeah. Like, Cumberbatch? <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you'll get it. Oh, that's right, uh, I'm going to play... Um, well, that's what I was referencing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um... Penguins. Yeah, turns out Penguins are just really fun. They're also just, like, a surprisingly competent deck. Like, they, they actually... They're okay. Like, they're not going to go up against your fucking Drytron 85 billion fucking negates. But, they're okay. They're fun. Um, they do stuff, like... And I also just made a combo where they summon VFD, but instead of... Like, it summons Kali Yuga, essentially. Um, and no one had found that combo before me. Which was very cool. Um, you ever... Uh, synchro summoned three... Three Synchro Monsters into another Synchro Monster off turn? Can't say I have. No, it's quite rare. I've not really ever Synchroed off turn anyway. Like, I didn't really play in that era. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but yeah, there's a nice little combo there, which I'm sure I'll post to the channel four months after it's relevant. <laughs> which is never. Um, yeah, what else? Duel Links? Uh, oh yeah, you did hop back into Duel Links for a bit. A little bit. You? Like, somewhat. Um, yeah, Senju's the best deck in Duel Links. And I'm not playing it, because... <laughs> You don't like it when all the cool kids play it. No, it talks a bit. Takes a bit of grinding to get the pendulum cards, and I just can't be yeah. asked. Like even the version I have is good. It's just I want to play the pendulum version, but because I don't have it, I'm not playing. And because I'm not playing, I'm not getting it. And like <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. Because <laughs> like Hearthstone's been taking up most of my time. I reached Legend in Hearthstone uh, for the first time. Which I was gonna cool. say, yeah, you did. You've been doing well in that. No. Yeah, like top three k. Jesus, which is okay. Um, yeah, well done, but I'm sick. Sure. Mercenaries is really fun. Um, Battlegrounds, good. I actually gave Blizzard some money. Sick. Bro. You make me sick. Disgusting. Yeah, Our just... money belongs to Konami. Yeah. Yeah. And the housing market. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's it. I guess that's, that's my whole thing. I... What other deck? Infernoble is still apparently a thing, so I might look into rebuilding that. Yeah, I mean, Luke did But it wouldn't be well. the way Luke plays it, because he doesn't hand rip enough. Anyway, um, so for the last three months, it's been pretty stagnant for me. I've not really tried anything that different. Like, Quarantine Cup and stuff's been fine. You tried uh, adding Nistas, I guess. That's within the last three months, right? Like, well, that's one, of, that's one of the two decks that I sort of, like, cycle between. It's either invoked variant of whatever description or those um i do have despiers waiting for the next set to come out um because then their boards become really fun mm. um fun but we'll get well fun for me um <laughs> it's it's not as oppressive as um like macabre is in quotations um but it does some other things um okay what else what else what else what else um yeah, that's effectively it as far as I can think. Dream Mirrors. I started playing Dream Mirrors online. They suck. The, yeah. <laughs> I like I like their stuff, though. The whole floating It's effect. really it's actually interesting. quite cool. Yeah. Like, if it got enough... I think if it got, like, one more wave of, like, competent support. It doesn't have to be, like, groundbreaking support. That's just the, competent. It that, would be okay. It would be completely the, fine. That's the thing. They got a card from the OCG that, like, starts their whole combo. But the problem is, like, a lot of the meta decks you you find that they have a searcher card to search the card that starts the combo. Yeah. Whereas, like, the further you get down the line of tier decks is where you get less and less searchable for the cards that start the combo. I feel feel like that's the main thing. So you get down to Dynamist, where you have to search the card, you have to activate charge, search Terran, 
and then Taryn has to destroy something by battle, and then you get to add howling, and that's your whole combo. <laughs> yeah, like it's horrible. I think, I think we've cracked the format here, fellas. Mm. Every yeah. deck should have a searcher for the starter of the combat. I've been saying this for a long time. Just make every deck consistent, and then let people do what they want. They're still gonna lose. Just make every deck consistent, as as consistent as, as the top decks, because the top decks are still the top decks for a reason. It, it becomes a power game, and that's cool. I had one night where I was looking into Beatron. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, say again. The B- Beatron, isn't that the the TCG exclusive? Yeah, yeah. Archetype? Beatron. Beatletron. Is that what they call? Beat troopers. Beat troopers. That's it. Beatron. Beatron is a card. The card. Beatron's Beatron's the the card. Looks like <laughs> the, the store has an ulti of it. Sorry, I was looking into beat troopers. Yes. And no one's ever going to question otherwise. <laughs> um, one night, and then I saw their su- their new support and the new set. Oh and my fuck. fucking god! We'll, we'll get into that. That's a whole other <laughs> right, topic. That's no, 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 no. There's one. Stop, 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 stop. That's there's one night where I'm like, oh, this stuff's cool. If they get some more stuff, this could. Like, I this could be fun. Him okay. legitimately talking this... to me and being like, "Like, we'll save the rest for for later." Well, but well, instead of that, because I don't think I have anything to add on the week of yeah. Yu Gi Oh. Let's just get into that. So we okay. have Burst of Destiny coming out next week. Everyone's very keen for their new favorite bug deck to get support. And what do we fucking get? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I uh, that that is called. They were like, "Holy shit, we've made this deck too good." We, we can't make this deck any better. Like, we made a competent deck when we were supposed to make pack filler. Why did we do this? Oh, God. Uh, we have another round of support. Uh, uh, let's give... Give them this! <laughs> let's give every other deck a super poly target. <laughs> <laughs> literally, though. Like, their best board ends on that many. Like, yeah. it's literally just a super poly target horrible. now. Horrible. <laughs> like, it's so bad. And... Not only that, but they couldn't at least offset the cost of this terrible fucking fusion card by at least making the card that fuses them something relevant. Yeah. Shuffle no. <laughs> back from Grave, shuffle back from Banished, use fucking, like, anything else. <laughs> anything! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Oh, like, so all dark. that needed was not that. <laughs> Literally, the deck would be so much better if it just didn't get that support. Honest to God. Yeah, so, of like, I think it was five or four cards that they got in total. The Fusion, the Fusion card, or the Fusion spell, um, the Token Generator, and one other card. Mm. The one other card is the only good one. Yeah. Because it recycles Banished to summon itself. Like, they had but finally made an else. insect deck that could play and do okay without having Maxi in the format. Like, without yeah. their one benefit being, we can search Maxi. Or the C cards. And they were like, make it the most super polyable deck. <laughs> one, of the, one of the normal effect monsters I kind of liked, but then, yeah, the rest of them. That's the one that recycles, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's literally the only good one. Because, yeah, I'd seen that and went, oh, if, if the support's going to be like this, yeah, fuck yeah, I mean. And then he kept well, those, scrolling and he was yeah, like... Well, those, those were the first two that got... Leaked was yeah, the recycle yeah, so that's... one and the token generator. Yeah, and we're so like, oh, this is promising. Like these are combo extenders. You can keep going with these. And then the fucking purple card showed up, and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? I joined the. And Facebook don't get me group. wrong, I love a fucking fusion, but that is bad. Yeah, I joined the Facebook group. I heckled Josh for a little bit. Went to sleep. <laughs> woke up. Saw just that whole group going into, into a meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so beyond bad support, um, in this set we've obviously got a big swing for the meta in Soul, Soul Sword and Fluwanduis, which I hate the name now. Yeah. I hate it. They've just made like an excuse for people to say uwu, and I hate it. <laughs> um, Would you rather say uwu or be a people McNugget? Oh, God. <laughs> so- Stop asking questions. Just keep going. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> I wonder if that showed up on the transcript. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Um, so, of the two, what do you think will be the favoured deck or the more represented deck? Sword Soul, right? I'm getting like... I'm getting like... Um, like... Like 
Cosmo True Draco vibes of Flor Fluwandowies. Fluwandowies. Bro, do you know how... F- fuck that! <laughs> fuck that! Bro, I already have a speech impediment. I don't need them to put the speech impediment into the fucking spelling. Fluwandowies. Bro, it sounds like a fucking 11-year-old Logan trying to say I'm, anything. I'm all in for the new archetype of uh, Phantom Knights. <laughs> <laughs> As per what? usual, Bragg is like five years late to the party. It's like these hey, of my yo, cars. Are you a frog monarch? <laughs> <laughs> Plants, bro. This card reborn Tango is coming out, bro. It's gonna be nuts. Phantom Knight's got one of those new Link monsters, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Already been banned and unbanned. Like an, you sound like an early nineties like radio. Nah, like an er, like a hello 20s. and welcome to Phantom Knights. <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> We welcome Rusty Bodies to the room. And we're back with the Dust Bowl Racers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the Zeppelins are off! <laughs> and they're off to a good bout of war. <laughs> <laughs> That'll show that crowd. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're having a bit of argy bargy. Well, you know the punishment for that. Off to war. <laughs> and, the, and the winners. <laughs> As their prize for winning. But do they a fun need... bout of war. <laughs> but do they need the brave stuff? Um, that's why they're topping in the OCG. Yeah, because but... the brave is just a free negate. Because I mean, they're doing dragoon shit at the moment. Yeah, but dragoon bad. Then they'll do destiny hero dragoon stuff. I can't find this fucking Which is fusion. Better. Which fusion? B trooper. If only they didn't already have a destiny. And is destiny and dragoon right? Was the name of the the old fusion monster? Yeah. Shout out to DP Wagio. B Trooper have no business getting a fusion. I watched that video. I actually don't mind DP Wagio. I don't know I, why I make I like him. I, yeah. He's quite funny. I, yeah. I thought this was, you know, one of the others that aren't MBT that I make fun of generally. Because they no, suck. He's, he's, he's one that good. I've consistently liked for no, years. No, DP Wagio is actually make decent. 17 minutes on why a card is okay. Bro, he's like, here's two minutes. Yeah, literally. He, he literally. He does what. He's Us only... and Ben have never done, <laughs> which is keep something under 10 minutes. Um, so I'm just trying to think of what else. Well, for me anyway, um, the next wave of Despia support is quite good. Um, like it's not amazing. Um, as I was saying before, it's not as oppressive as like the Macabre Despia. I mean, not Macabre Despia. Um, like invoked oh dogmatic God, variant. the fusion. Holy shit. I knew it was just... I like knew the super folly thing, but holy shit, this sucks. This is awful. Yeah. This is literally terrible. worse than... It's really bad. Than nothing. It's really bad. Um, but yeah, they get the new um, Red Eyes Flare Metal Fusion. Um, and yeah. you can very easily set up three. So every time your opponent goes to activate a card, it's 1,800 life points. Yeah, and then you set up three of the uh, other Red Eyes Fusion. Huh? XYZ. Red Ice Flare Metal. No, because once you start doing their actual thing, you're locked into fusions. But it does have a negate on that board, and you can set up their polymerization with one of the other new TCG exclusives as well. Mm. The one that everyone thought was a super poly target until they read how the materials work. Yeah. Because mm. is... um, I can't remember what it's called. It's like called something something Chimera or something like that, but you have to use material from your field in hand. Okay. But yeah. and it's like three monsters. So you could just it, but you'd have to do it from your field to the exactly. reason. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the reason that you have to use your own stuff is because it gets different effects depending on where the material came from. Yeah. So for every card on field you get to pop a card and for every card in hand you get to draw one. Yeah. That's quite quite decent. Yeah. Wait, that's really decent. That's awesome. Yeah. And if Polly's in your grave it can't be targeted. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Bro, I, I just burped so hard, I almost threw up. Oh yeah, the only like the only kind of <laughs> generic <laughs> card is the um is small the, world is yeah and well, the, at, when and you, the trap when, at, when you see uh, when when you're at the when you're, you're at the what, shops and you yep, uh, you're what, <laughs> do, do you see someone like you know them? Mm-hmm. You made this joke in chat and small it was world. also really bad. <laughs> it was he he laugh reacted it. <laughs> Have to go back and undo it. <laughs> you will too. So but yeah, um, Small World is pretty much one of the only ones. What was the other one you were going to say, Brad? Uh, the 
trap boss monster. King of Heavenly Prison. Oh, yeah, the one that protects back row. I still don't know fully what it does. I know it sets a card from your deck and then yeah, you well, have to banish do it. Do you wish me to read it? Yeah, go for it. Nah. <coughs> I'll pass. Do you want this card? <laughs> okay. It is a rock monster. Rock <laughs> 3K, rock 3K. Monster? 3K, 3K. <laughs> During your main phase, you can reveal this card in your hand until oh, the end yeah. of your opponent's turn. This got yeah. announced so long ago, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we've read it out on this podcast. I think we've read it out more than once. But anyway. And if you do, while this card is revealed by this effect, set cards on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. If a set spell or trap is activated, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this effect was activated while this card was revealed in your hand, you can set one spell or trap directly from your deck to the field, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. You'll only use its effect once per turn. And only once that turn as well. They double down on that. Therefore. Did the way you say that like just not enter your brain, or is that just me? The end part is kind of complicated. Yeah, like you, you read it entirely fine, and I already knew what it did, so I understood. But your words were so not entering my brain. Through the main phase, you <laughs> activate it to protect set back row. Yeah. Then, if you activate as one of your set back row while it, you've used that effect and revealed it, yep. it then specials itself and then sets a card from deck. Is it yep. just Eddie? Spell and trap, or is it just a specific spell and trap? No, no. Like, is it like a specific type, like continuous or? No, no, any. no. Yeah, it's quite good. Quite good. And three K, three K. That special summons itself effectively for free. Kind of busted. What level is it? Ten. It's a rock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get one. Yeah, you can search it. Granite. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, that's how you search Nibiru. Yeah, but. Searching this is more, good. yeah, is more good. <laughs> more good. Which is what you we're can looking also search for. Red gadget. Oh, <gasps> or green gadget. Wait, what? They're not rocks. You're, you're cracked, mate. Are they not? They're machines. That's why you're limited. They're a, a gadget. What the fuck did I hear today? Wait a second. Hold <laughs> up. Am I? Re- hold up. Wait a minute. Um, but yeah, so oh, from the set, it's kind of a weird... Wait, was this the set of people going in on? Um, yeah. Oh, sorry, there's... We forgot about the most generic card. The Earth. The Dragoon 2.0. I'm so stupid. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, which... Yeah, sorry, Destiny. It sucks. Don't play it while What? Out. Oh... They do different things. For me, interesting... you can absolutely play both. Well, not both, either. That's an interesting... Who's better? Hmm... <sighs> I I think for long game, Phoenix Enforcer is better. Yeah. Yeah, but Dragoon makes it a short game most of the time. But the thing is, most decks that turbo into Dragoon, or like have an end board of Dragoon, once it's out, they have nothing. I'm, that is it. I am one of deck. Those. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm getting worse. I need to go to like an old people's home. They massage my feet. Why they do that? Chain me up. <laughs> massage my. Why they do that? Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I just want a really big girl to sit on my chest and tell me I'm bad at scrap. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so was this a set that like Tom and Ben were going? Yeah, buying... each of them are getting a case. I don't think it's because of the generic stuff in it, because like they were... they want the. It's because they want to play sword, soul, soul and yeah. fluid the wonder. Wonder. Yeah. So yeah, two two relevant archetypes can kind of carry the value of that, maybe. Yeah. I'm I'm still not sure which of them will end up better here in the TCG. True. See, here's the thing. I thought Soul Soul has more hype, though. So it's just going to be there just by pure... It's got more hype because it's a lot easier to understand. Yeah. The other one is like... Like, don't get me wrong. It's pretty fucking brain dead. It's all normal summons. But it's a little bit more dependent on your opponent doing things. Whereas Soul Soul just sort of does its own thing yeah. but it's just it's the same board every turn like it's not got amazing combat kind of in for noble ish or like not even that invoked. like make two synchros set a trap to pop two cards that's yeah. it um here's the thing why the TCG I'm gonna take a guess Sword Soul will be the prevalent deck Australian TCG I'm gonna say oh, it's just a mess. I'm gonna say fucking uh, old ghost, no, floor noise. I'm gonna say that. That's gonna be because 
the Australian playstyle is just so different than America and Europe. Yeah, and that's to a, hard, I would say uh, to a wider extent, it's a lot closer to the OCG playstyle. Of like, you look at OCG, they'll just fucking their side decks like at events where they actually have side decks, like locals and stuff. It's like YCS, they don't have side decks. Yeah, because it's all best of one. But like, difference. Most decks will just run like Inspector Border in the side. And they'll be like, stun. Like, yeah. they're okay with stun. They, they're a lot better at stun than, than TCG is. Well, they've got but the castle, Australia right? is very stun in the way we think. It's very like, why do combo when I can set back row? Like, I say this as someone who's done both. Like, prolifically both. Um, like, I've never played, like, the mid-range invoked... Uh, Shadol sort of like that type of deck like the mid-range it's another mid-range deck from from time just like Draco yeah. Pals back in the day was kind of yeah, BA's kind of mid-range mid yeah but it leans into combo as well like if you you're actually versing a BA deck nowadays it's probably going to be the combo variant right it's another mid-range deck you know what? The way it runs without the inf... Wait. I think Plunder With... Patrol's kind of mid-range. Which one? Plunder Patrol. Yeah, yeah, Plunder Patrol's like the perfect mid-range deck. I love that deck. I wish I would... Did they get their it. OCG card yet? No. Um, Which OCG card? No, oh, it's just more of like they're due to get a broken OCG card that then... They already got Ravenwing. Yeah, there we go. They did. Um, Which wasn't broken. Yeah. Destroying it's, that person. It was just very good, though. Yeah, it was good, but... I've said this a lot, though. Like, you look at everywhere else they were not playing Altergeist at the rate that we were no. they were not playing Paleo at the rate we were we love that shit in Australia we are not like when it comes to it we are not great combo players as, as a whole like I'm a and even then like player. I think <laughs> one of our most prolific combos in terms of Australian TCG players was Danger Dark World FTK yeah and then like Pendulum FTK but, like, everyone was... Like, you could not play that, essentially. Yeah. So I should side Decree. Sorry? Every Australian YCS. Or side Jinzo. Legitimately, one of the best times that I've had in a YCS is when I could side deck Denko comfortably. Yeah. When I was playing Thunder Dragon. Because it's like, oh, okay, Sky Striker, deal with it. <laughs> That's... Oh. This is a good point. <laughs> Oh, the claws are out. <laughs> um, you want more food, you fat fuck? <laughs> I do wonder. So let's say if if we have like a whole bunch of extravagances, there's a bunch of tournament results. I'm just spitballing here. Mm -hmm. Even actually, even with Europe could have their own thing as well. That they look at our region and go, "Oh yeah, let's let's unlimit reboot for them," because. I'm living it in a region. Yeah. Having regional ban lists. So, and so let's say they look at Europe and go... I would so support a regional ban list. And, let's, and they look at Europe and go, they're always, like... I mean, it's different now. Dante but, band. On yeah, no, that's, that's it, yeah. Like, <laughs> band on Dante. Electromite and everywhere but USA and Canada. So Triff can't play it. <laughs> that would be Th That would prompt Triff to become an Australian citizen. I don't think we want that. It's either that or he would kill himself. Different, different player ban lists too, so... You can go in exile. If you get caught for cheating here, you just go overseas. No, I'm not Triff. I am Miff. Griff. <laughs> I'm with Steven Miff. Do you know what? I couldn't see them doing that. No. But with that same data, what I could see them doing is seeing that certain regions like to play X deck and just short printing whatever support's coming out for it. Yeah. Just Ooh, to fuck Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, no, 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 the cool thing that's good for players? No, they wouldn't do that. Oh, the thing that would make them pay more money? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, I, I'm not too keen on Burst of Death. I'm just going to pick up singles because I have no interest in those two decks. Yeah, I'm not super sold on them. I need part of the Sword Soul. Yeah. But that is it. I just need the new Ecclesia. He needs the cock. No, no, just oh. Ecclesia. It's a good looking art too, that one. It does look quite nice. It is a nice looking cock. Uh, what were the starlights? Um, so the starlights are Ecclesia. Um, okay, yeah, cool. 
Actually, I'm gonna have to pull it up now. It's been a while. Do we leave um, the Do we leave the 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 reprint to last, or do we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Reprint last. Um, oh, it's not gonna be there, is it? Oh god, the Italians. Have oh god. It. Italians. Oh god, not the Italians. <laughs> the Italians always have it. Oh, I was totally. I wasn't even looking at the rarities. I was just looking okay. at what. Well, while we're killing time, I found a a article on like the soccer for like the soccer Reddit. Who's like, oh. Mussolini's great grandson just made his debut for an Italian soccer team. Perfect. And they like announced it. Amazing. <laughs> they made like a event of it. Look, I'm sure there's certain <laughs> sections of Italy that are still celebrating. A shout out fascism. Hey, some of the best Italian sports cars were made in communist parts of Italy. I think communism is fascism. I mean, like, anyway, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh podcast. Yeah, Shout on. out Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so the four starlights and Christina that aren't the reprints are uh, the new Ecclesia card, mm-hmm. uh, one of the Sword Soul Synchros, the level eight one, uh, the Evil Twin Link because Whammon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Bad Fluandoes. Oh wow! Players. Yeah, not even penguins. Yeah. yeah. Which is kind of better, to be honest. I'd prefer... Like, if, if you've got to play the bad one at one, which, like, I don't even think people are doing that, but if you're going to play it at one, you might as well fucking have a shiny as fuck one. I wonder if they have a plan for the um, penguins, then. Yeah, never reprint them again. <laughs> um, and then, our reprint starlight for this set is... Elemental Hero Stratos. It's Why? just... It's already had an ulti. Does yeah. it really need a starlight as well? Like, we have been screaming to have Ash Blossom as a Starlight for ages. And when they started on the hand traps, that was like the natural progression. They get DD Crow on. DD Crow got a Starlight. There's literally a better DD Crow. I. Stratus is probably. Like, I guess it's just. If there's if it was on the cards to do, I do it now. I guess Destiny shit. Yeah, right? that's like. That's literally the only justification they have, right? Oh, actually. Yeah, okay. So, I'll back up. It makes sense this time around on their reprints of Starlights because they've done it in line with support that's in each set, right? Yeah. So, the last set got Stardust and there was a heap of Stardust Synchro support. Yeah. The set before that had, like, Ruddy Rose and all that stuff and that's why Black Rose got one. Yeah. So, Stratos getting one this time around makes sense, but I still hate it. Yeah. For one reason, main deck monsters look terrible in Starlight. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that's a good point. The colouring is just weird. It looks best on extra deck stuff. Yeah. Ex- Ex- spells Ex- look stuff. nice as well. Spells look good. Yeah, I'm, I'm look not really still nice. sold on that, but I don't own one. So I, I think traps are kind of like... Oh, you should break. Pompous. They're fantastic to own. That's, oh, that's another thing I should say in my time of um, lockdown Yu-Gi-Oh. Because I couldn't get into my local to buy product, I bought a lot of Chang Starlights <laughs> and Collector's Rares. Yeah, you basically... If Jake found a Collector's Rare for under... Hundred dollars, he would just buy it. Yep, that is absolutely true. And then there was a time, I think, literally just after tax, that I had a bit of extra money, and that's when I was buying most of the starlights oh, that yeah. I ended up accruing. They're bad starlights, like they're fucking terrible, but they might. Oh, <laughs> I've been putting off that. Yeah, don't do that. Just buy them. I mean, my tax. <laughs> oh, your tax. Oh yeah, gosh, okay. <laughs> Brag, it's October. <laughs> Break yeah. it, it's like two days from November. Yeah. Do your fucking tax. Yeah. So you could have done it by now, had the money back, and then gotten hammered on Halloween. Because this always... I can just get hammered on Halloween. I know, but... <laughs> Look at this guy brag, he doesn't need tax money to get hammered on Halloween. <laughs> um, Halloween. But I can always do it where it's just like, I think about it like right on um, start, of, start of the year, and then go... Oh no! Like all the like the accountants and stuff will be busy, so I'll just leave it, bro. I just I just you go on do July. That shit yeah, yourself. so bro, I just go on July first, and I go. They go. Is this right? And I don't look at anything, and I click yes, and that will never come back to haunt me because I do not make enough money for them to ever chase me down. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm since I still got time, I'll probably do it myself. Like I probably do it myself, but if I don't do it by a Sunday, I guess I have to, you know, go to the agent. Just down from Good Games. Who I thought was closed, but they're running TV. Agent now. Cody Banks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I wonder when the last time Jeez. someone said that was. It's probably, it's probably you, guys. Probably like. me, fucking 2011. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Shout out Frankie Munoz. He so, does not remember filming those. Oh, God. 
Because he has amnesia. Car crash. Oh. Um, what a fun story to tell. Um, anyway, so... Empen's super rare. I thought they would bump yeah, it up. Yeah, Rubina's... Is it still Rubina or have they changed Empen's it? Empen's a secret, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was a super. Oh. No, Empen's a secret. Oh. Yeah, the two big ones are secret. Oh, I know what I've done. Wait, no, this is English! This page is lying to me! On the internet? Yeah. What? I can't believe it. has to be it. true! Claude Obama! People can't lie on the internet! Oh, well, yeah, actually, ScoMo cares about that Bro, shit. You I need see to that? call you see my press- mum. I need to call Obama. I need to call Luke. Uh, I like that that's the hierarchy. Do you see Mother, um, Barack Obama roommate? The press conference today Good where call. he's like, oh, I'm going to I tackle climate change anyway. Benny people Benz. are illegally voting and people are too mean online. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I have someone in my phone just called Bin. Bin? Bin. Are you sure you didn't misspell Ben? He and I aren't very close together on the QWERTY keyboard. There we go. This one does say... Oh, yeah, of course. Did invented the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I got hyped oh, for a second. Thanks. I'm like, oh, hold on. If Empen's super, fuck yeah. Yeah, no. No. It's a good card, therefore expensive. Yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah. Um, speaking of good cards being expensive, um, as of today, the time of recording, uh, Synchro Storm has been released, um, yeah. of which there is only one good card in it, which What's costs good more than the box. Yeah, there's good cards. I mean, the but, speed but, stuff is cute, sure, but like, like Cupid Pitch. That's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, Cupid Pitch is already out, isn't it? No, I don't know what it comes out in, but it's not already out. It's either Synchro Storm or uh, Burst of Destiny. I swear it's already out. Uh, have they pushed back the other okay, the, just the other pack that's got the the one I was talking about the Braves in it? Uh, yes. Fuck. Yeah. I should I don't know when that's getting released. Grand Creators. That's it. Do you want to do something fun so mm. that we have something to talk about in dead air next next podcast? Yeah. We should all. All right, Bragg's not going to do it. Me and you should give each other a deck to just look into before next week. Because there's absolutely no anything. chance we're going to get you to do it, right? And like, and present. Well, if you deck. give him decks that he likes, just, just a random deck. Just, you don't have to like make a deck or anything. Just look into it how it works. Then we come back next week and we, three of us, we explain it. Oh, that sounds like, like a quick, a quick, okay, ex- explanation. Fine. Do you want to do it? Yeah, sure. Just a brief synopsis on the deck. Alrighty, um, Bragg, I'm going to give you weather papers. Yeah, right. I told you, you have to give him things that he's interested in, otherwise you he won't do them. Jake one. Uh, what deck do I need to learn? Jake, do you have one ready? <laughs> I think I do. I just want to double check that I actually like, think that it's the thing that it is. Oh, it's Breast of Destiny. For Cupid Pitch. I think, okay. su- I think it's a common. That card is ridiculously good for a common. Yeah, that's because of the way that they've been doing the sets now with like more ultras, uh, no rares and stuff like that. There's been some really decent like commons, commons that have been completely fun. ignored. Yeah, but there's just been some dog shit. Such secrets. as I meet you, Ignisters. Hey, I meet you. Let's go. Anyway, um, <laughs> tell me, I read you what Cupid Pitch does. Tell me how Braves work when you the card that's get that the shit now. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> Next week. Next week. Huh? He already knows. Give him another deck. All right. So Cube you Pitch. More ex- if this card is synchro summoned, increase or decrease this card's level by the level the tuner used as material had on the field. This card gains attack equal to its level times four hundred. Uh, so it's level four. Yeah. Um, if this synchro summoned card is sent to the graveyard as synchro material, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the spe- synchro summoned monster's level by a hundred. And if you do, you can add one level eight. Or lower monster with 600 defense from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. What target are people adding? Do you want to know what target I'm adding? Let me just... Uh... Is it Fluanduiz? No, it is Penguin Champion. Penguin Champion? Yes. Eh? Because Penguin's this... at level 8? Level 8 or lower. Oh, level 8 or lower. And right. Penguin Champion has 600 defense. Do you know what Punk does? Kind of. There we go. That that'll that'll work then. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, and you're going to tell me how Iron Chain works. Let's cancel this segment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll look up Iron Chain. Uh, doesn't Iron Chain have an FTK? Okay. I swear if it does, I feel like, like you would know what it does already. I thought it might have a hand rip. Ooh. I think it does have a hand rip. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that um, that Grand Creators pack comes out two weeks into the January. Oh god, that's still ages away. Yeah. Well, it'll be in time for uh, the European and American YCSs that have been announced. Yeah, and we don't get one. Nope. Which makes, I mean, because yeah, they obviously the Europeans run our they're YCS, gonna, so they can't do two. Yeah, and also those yeah. are their two biggest markets, so they definitely want to get in there first. Yeah. Um, it feels like it'll be cold for Utrecht. Oh yeah, it'll be winter. Uh, I've forgotten how to pronounce it. It's been Utrecht. so long. Utrecht. 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 Eddie McGuire said in a hot seat the other day, and I was like, I'm I think pretty that, sure it's not from right. From what I remember, it starts as if you would say it, like the way it <laughs> We reads. did this every year, I'm sorry. <laughs> we literally spoke to Edwin, and he told us how we to were, say yeah. it. We were on Discord with him, and I'm and pretty it's sure, like, it's like you start normal, but then you kind of die halfway through, isn't it? Because he was like, he, he was like, <laughs> and then after the U, you Just get like to a thing. Thing. This sound is not made anywhere in English. It's like, <laughs> It's just... <laughs> You fucking spat on me. <laughs> Oops, sorry. My bad. Uh, um, yeah, where was the other one? Was it Pasadena? You better hope so. Because, I mean, if it's anywhere up, like, towards the north, it's going to be fucking cold. I feel like it's Pasadena. Expanding on our idea of, like, this cool little segment, should we, in- like, instead of giving, like, this whole overview where we need to say it, should we just come back with, like... Very, very basic bare bones overview, and then just like what their best card is, and yeah, what support we think would help it. Yeah, I think that's makes it a bit easier, and then we have actually something to focus on. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm for. I that. like this segment. Mm. Until next week when I show up, I've not fucking looked at a single. Yeah, I'm like, Iron tell me how Iron Chains work. Uh. Uh, they hand rip, right? <laughs> he starts pulling through his phone right away. Yeah, Iron Core, right? Koiki Medu. Oh, I tried. Uh, Long time the, ago. Yeah, Pasadena. It is Pasadena. That makes sense. So uh, Pasadena the Pasadena like one is 15 to Chile? 16th of uh, January. Oh. And 21st to 23rd. Oh, yeah. that That's their proof that we're not getting a January YCS. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's even though it, well, we're these... basically going to be in the exact same place COVID restriction was. Even better. Mate, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so they're one ah! week right after another. Um, so we won't get to watch the Pasadena one because Americans don't stream. Um, but we'll be able to watch Utrecht. I, I think, think you're saying it right. I we used so. to say Utrecht. Um, that's not correct. Well, that's the thing. I used to say it like you'd be pronouncing an Italian word, in which case it was like Utrecht. But it's ah, not. mamma mia, spaghetti. Utrecht. <laughs> Good <night>. night. <laughs> Chris Pratt's audition for Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're going to be working for Nintendo. Your talents are wasted. <laughs> so yeah, YCS, those two packs. What else are there? Um, and then there's another remote YCS coming up for us in December, which I shan't be participating in because I still haven't got my prizes from the one in fucking July. What the fuck, Germany? I have. Yeah, your what? Two packs? Three packs? Three packs. And promo that is common. They yeah, that's another disgusting promo. thing. Common promo card. <laughs> Blech. That's why I think of your promo. <laughs> I just want Master Jewel out, man. Yeah, when the fuck is that coming out? Like, by the time it comes out, I personally probably won't be that invested anymore because there'll be IRL play, there'll be tournaments, there'll be YCSs and stuff. Oh, but wow. I'm definitely not going to a locals up there. Like, in Queensland. Can't be asked. Like, until I am actually interested, what's the fucking point? I'm just going to play well, what about What about Penguins? Penguins. I was playing at events. Like, regionals and shit. Well, so you're just not going to play any IRL thing until you actually get to an event. Yeah, you could do you could do Master Jewel during the week and then jump on. Bro, I don't play <laughs> locals now. Yeah, I know, because there's not a deck you're invested in, but once Penguins are... I'm not as penguins. invested in Penguin as I've made out. 
penguin. I am legit. Like, I like this deck. Yeah. I knew I liked certain decks before I got there. Like, Infernoble, I liked that deck before I knew what the fuck it did. <laughs> like, I was invested in that deck for like a month and a half after it was out, and I still didn't know what it did. Um, Penguins. Penguins. Um, what else is there? Is there anything else that we have to talk about? That the beta of that weird cross jewel came. Oh, cross jewel. Yeah. Did anyone, did anyone, did anyone look into that? Um, there wasn't. Uh, actually, that's not fair. MBT, I think it was, had a video on it. I d- did not watch it. The flavor text on the on the synchros and stuff's cool. Though. That is cool. Oh, the fucking cursed, <laughs> cursed, um, cursed Stardust, <laughs> like vanilla Stardust oh, yeah. dragon. So cursed. Have you seen those? I've seen the artworks for him, like, I don't understand But on, like, the vanilla cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross. Yeah, it doesn't look right at all. There was one of them that looked quite cool. I think it was Black Lotus Soldier. It looked okay. Yeah, that would look alright. But, like, it's not that far from just being a vanilla anyway. It basically is. They should make vanilla rituals. That'd be cool. There are vanilla rituals. No. Oh, well, they there's don't just have flavour text. There, there's normal... No, there's not normals. There's non-effect monster rituals, but they should make vanilla rituals. Rituals don't have that much going for them. Hungry Burger should be a non-effect. Rituals monster. don't have that much going for them, even though Drytron's as the as a biggest. whole. <laughs> also, Drytron runs like three ritual cards. Yeah, one of them's like their main setup. Yeah, but it's only really used as a like a plus. I guess. Like. Yeah, I don't know. Back in the day, there was like the thing where it's like. Did you try to, should they even run Herald of Perfection or Ultimateness? Like, a lot of decks weren't running it. They were just running Ben 10, mass gains, make extra deck monsters. Appaloosa, Dragoon. Couldn't Come. find it. <laughs> um, so, it has been a while. We do have some podcast questions. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Christ. <laughs> There's not a heap, to be fair. Um, look, look. Can we can we handball some to next week? No, 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 no. No, I really need to eat. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, well, let's just <laughs> do... consider just, just digesting your tongue. There is that. What is your tongue connect? Is it like here? <laughs> that's n- that's so not one of the questions home, I have here. He's pointing at his feet. <laughs> pointing my, my... I mean, head. that's where Bragg's tongue connects. Uh, sarcophagus. <laughs> yeah. Esophagus. I definitely said esophagus the first time. Sarcophagus? Yeah. This bit. Gold sarcophagus. Damn. Uh, Fucking Tutan Tutan Carmen, was that a woman? No. Clear no, culture. that was a young boy. Cleopatra. Yeah. Okay, well I don't want to make this joke anymore. Actually, I listen, I listen <laughs> to a podcast on Cleopatra. Yeah. She, she yeah, she was mad ugly, bruv. I don't think she was that ugly. Nah, there's statues, but she was supposed to be the most beautiful. She was with fucking Julius Caesar or whatever, but there's statues of her. She's mad ugly. I think she also fucked her brother, to be fair. Like Oh, yeah, but that's back in the day. Didn't she kill him as well? Yep. Did, well, Girl yeah. boss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look. You know, you just get it how you live. <laughs> you question? I live it how I get it. Um, yes, I will just limit it to one question this evening. We'll handle the others on next week's podcast. I've said it. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for next week's. It's definitely going to happen. Tuesday. Let's um, do Tuesday. If you could pick... A card for the next ultimate rare in an OTS pack, what would it be and why? I feel like I'm getting the look that's like, say the line, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would pick. Someone else answer. Um, well, I mean, the first thing that came to my head is um, Skill Drain. Ooh. Just, just, just involuntarily, but. That's just mine. Oh, it's going to be fucking Imperial Order, isn't it? Oh, God. For me? No, like, the next one, and then they're going to ban it afterwards. Oh, please. I'll... No, 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 but, like, we're going to get an... We're going to get an old... Bro, they already open it, and it's not that heavy. They, Bro, think about how much they're going to open it when it's a fucking ulti. I fully believe in that shit, though. Like, the heavier cards, you, you, you draw them more. I'm positive that's real. I mean, that's what I rep for Hobby League, but I also am saying it sarcastically, and you can't prove otherwise. I mean, your eyes darting across the room would definitely prove that. And you cannot prove I did that. Yeah. 
I play Common my word against I yours. Don't see. Yeah? I play the speed duel versions of fucking DM and Red Eyes in my deck. <laughs> I want to see him. No, I don't. It, well, if I could choose, I think I would choose. Oh, I want all 2,000 eyes. That should be nice. Do you have that really expensive Japanese one? Yeah, apparently it's expensive. I only, I only bought. Bro, you have three of them, right? No, I only have like two. Because someone's but, talking but to me one, about but it. one's beaten up. Someone's talking to me about it. They were like, "Oh, it's mad expensive." I was like, "Oh, he brackets those." They were like, "No, no, no, he doesn't have these ones." And I'm like, "Yeah, he does." It was only forty bucks not too long ago. Yeah, now it's like yeah, money. Which doesn't make it... Why it's hiked up so much? Well, I mean, because people realise that if you're playing a retro format that isn't oh, playing by yeah. that, you can just play with whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, that is valid. Yeah. Um, a card that I would get in ulti, and it's not anything that you would expect. Here we go. Don't him Terran. <laughs> That's his answer. That's why we're not expecting it. It's not quite that unexpected. Um, the card that I would get in ulti... Is... Alistair! Woo! I would rate that. <laughs> no. Uh, the card that I would get is uh, Polymerization. Yeah. Which I, I reckon that would look... the um, Not the twisty guy going into the, the card. The arc. Yugi one? Like the, the one... Yeah, like the, the more standard yeah. one. Because I feel like the symmetry of that plus the different colours... If they did it right, it would look really embossed. nice. I think yeah. it would look nice in co- uh, Collectors as well. That specific art. I think if they did that right, it would look awesome. Ooh. I think collectors of um, the red green art would look good as well, though. I don't really like the red I green. I feel like art that's what much. they should be doing anyway. Like, I feel like the statement "collectors rare" is like it should be given to cards that are a collector's thing. Like, if yeah. they're high rarity, you'd be like, "Oh shit, that's cool." Yeah. So, like, they've done that right in some cases, but some in others, it's just, just like, random. "Why are you?" It's like, like, "Why did this fucking toon card get it?" No one, no one. The toon cards, no, I can toon. understand. <laughs> The two cards nah, they're expensive on their own. However, it should have been more iconic Toon cards, like Toon... Yeah, Blue Eyes like should... Toon yeah, Kingdom, yeah. Toon Blue Eyes, Toon Summon Skull. Shit like that. They should put all three arts in that set as well, to be honest. Yeah, I think what, the other one... Weird there set. wasn't many that got reprinted in that set, was there? No. No, because they put them in the, um, the Pegasus shit. Holy fucking shit! What? I was looking up stuff for my answer to see if these two cards that I had in mind... Had fucking had the ulti. had ultis already. One uh, one of these cards should have an ulti, but doesn't. The other card was Gate Guardian, right? Oh yeah. Guess how much the fucking retro pack Gate Guardian is going for now? Because I looked into the I looked into buying these a while ago at two hundred dollars. Wait, I'm gonna guess three grand. Is it north of a K? Yes. Fuck that. That's fucked. It's north of his guess. Fucking <laughs> what? I said they're fully expecting you to go, no, don't be fucking stupid. Jeez. What, like that five? Is bonkers. Or four? 3.8. 3.8, okay. Three and... Ah, oh, that's fucking insane. Wow. So Who are I'll... these Gate Guardian fans? They're all... And they have always existed. They're like those... I love Gate Guardian. Who... Have you ever seen that realistic art of Gate Guardian? It looks so fucking cool. I have not. Like hyper-realistic. But also, yeah, I've never been one of those people to hype up Gate Guardian. I'm like, you've put these three things on the field and made something infinitely worse. Oh, yeah. I I don't think anyone like... like it's. But there's just people that really like that idea and like all three of them and it in him himself. I feel like they should just be playing um, Super Quants then. Because apparently they're just like the Zord in Power Rangers. And they probably are playing it, but like they just like collecting that for some reason. Blake's kind of into it. What? Gate Guardian shit. Yeah. Bro. I... Was at someone's house who like had a retro pack gate guardian. Yeah. I remember being like, I remember messaging you at the time, being like, This fuckwit has a gate guardian. That dude's a fuckwit, and I wish I had stolen it. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, like, that's the, the photo. It looks sick. Right, okay. I think mean, it looks so awesome. So, Sujin is the cock. Yeah, yeah. Like, um. Cork. Yeah. You do with the squirt. Zork. Zork. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the dragon. My thing. answer is a card that. Is incredibly stupid. It doesn't have an ultimate already. It's red eyes. Yeah, yeah, that's doesn't fair. have an ulti. Should have an ulti. OG out. OG out. Yeah, it should be OG. I, I don't want. I want ulties of OG D- DMG. Skull servant. DMG. I'm surprised they haven't done that, considering how much they've fucking like reprinted DMG to the shit house. They've given. Bro, they're getting it another a lot. Third 
Lost Ark. Yeah, yeah. That's so is dumb. That, is it the one? Is that that's not they the just one they trying to the kill OGI. all value? Yeah, and we don't. Have, we haven't had that we haven't version. Had that we've just yeah. So we've had an art with a border, an art without a border, and gotcha. the OG art now. Yeah. Bro, by the fucking sixth lot, she's going to be entirely naked. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this is the lot. No, you know Lost how... art, forbidden art. How are the how are <laughs> the <Exterminate. lot>? <laughs> I was going to say, why have we been given Lost Arts by the Daleks? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, do you think Konami's run by like? Humans? <laughs> do you think it's not oh, run by something no, no, no. pure evil? That's the answer to the bad support, think right? Kojima the left? Daleks of like the Daleks yeah. are the ones that came up with the original B Trooper support. Mm. And they're like, this actually be meta. Yeah. And then the one day of the week that they had the human fucking <laughs> Bob come in, he's yeah. like, oh, vision. Yeah, yeah, fucking, fucking bro. Bob. You stupid fuck. Yeah. Stop designing oh, the, fucking support. Light Dark Magician Girls are only going for about 60 now. OG Art surely will be worth it. I think, that's, I think that's the second one is going for yeah, 60. Yeah, the second one's not worth as much for reasons. The first one, well, because it's got the border, so it's like clearly not the same. Even though less of those went out. Yeah. Word so I think they should actually be more expensive four years from now. But right now, if they're more recent. I still, I think you still have a better chance of finding one than the old one that's able to sell because everyone, like me, is holding them. Mm-hmm. Do they have the same set code, or is it the exact same except for a border? You have the. the oh, I have one of each. Yeah, he has one of each. He can show you the difference. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I'll probably, I'll try and get the other one because yeah, it's just it's silly, silly not to. Well, those are the those are the two things I'm collecting at the moment. Is cheap. Starlights and Collector's Rares and Lost Arts. And Dark Magician Girls. No, definitely not that. I should have kept that tin one. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's look it up. The one you um, sold to Jesse? No, the the tin, like I had a tin promo that's like long gone. It was probably in the store. Is it one shit. of the Love Heart ones? No, it's her doing the... Oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I held my heart and my hand high to the sky. Dark condition girl, there she is. Oh, it's only eighty bucks. It's not that bad. That's not that bad. That's yeah, not a big okay. loss. That's fine. I'm, I'm yeah, not sad now. Well, I am sad, but not for that reason. Um, that one is a PSA nine, and it is eight hundred dollars, and it hasn't sold. So get Jesus. fucked, mate. Jesus. Ooh, what are you looking at? Oh, dark This um, this me. dark magician. Oh, okay. That's a watermark because it is beaten as shit, and I'm like, and it also has com on it. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> he was very oh, careful. Not com. <laughs> he was very careful about the way he said that. I need to pick up another ulti of dark mist. Such a nice ulti. Yeah, it is. Ten nice. bucks. Too. I think it's actually like the nicest looking ulti to me. Holy shit! Right? I had um, one. Funnily enough, I think I, I just threw I it away. I saw a beatron the other day. That looked pretty good. Yeah, it's at the store. Yeah. yeah. It did actually look surprisingly good, and it's pretty cheap. I don't think yeah. I like rush duel cards anymore. I like the I like the look of them before, but I don't think I do now. You just like the cat that's showing its butthole. Oh yeah, I forgot about butt cat. <laughs> oh yeah, butthole cat. I remember being like, <laughs> "Damn, that's a butt." Butthole cat. <laughs> Literally the worst thing that they've ever brought out. Mm, ash feet. That's that is mad dodgy, you know. It's like, really like, bad. Oh yeah, I should buy that, that for a second. They they were like, hey. This girl, dead six year old. <laughs> Show a feet. Show a feet. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, and they like, haven't done that with any other ghost girl, mind you. No. Like they haven't oh, tried to like sexualize mat. any of them. Did they ever actually sell that play mat? I'm telling you, no. It was just to get you horny. Oh. Well, it didn't work. Make you horny, baby. <laughs> it didn't work. I'm always horny. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm always tired. <laughs> Here we go, no, someone's selling in China for 30 bucks. There we go. Oh, that's alright. It looks such a good looking mat though. No, it If only she wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is nice Jessica... though with the cherry blossoms yeah. and stuff and then they just ruined it by putting like fucking pedo bait on it. You know how that guy that we know... Yeah, uh, yeah, that guy. Who cut a hole in his dark magician mat. Mike's <laughs> 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 gonna do that between the feet. <laughs> Did you not hear about nods, this? Nods, yeah, nods, yeah, yeah, nods, yeah. nods, nods, nods. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what is DNG girl mat going for now? Oh, probably a fuck ton. Actually, I saw one on auction for like oh, a no, lot of money. We're just gonna take one question and we waffled on for another fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep going to cut it off, but then it keeps looking up prices of other fucking lewd material. This porn. Oh, it's still worth five hundred bucks. That's alright. 
Oh yeah, that's alright. Bro, I'm gonna type in. No, I'm not. No, we're gonna. End <laughs> I don't need podcast. that for my phone. Yeah. Thank you all very much for listening. Um, please uh, feel free to follow us on all places where good po- podcasts are available. I nearly said it again, and that fucking kid was gonna give me shit. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, in the coming weeks, we will have more content coming. No, no, no. Um, we're gonna be as inconsistent as possible. Oh, I'm not touching the YouTube. I mean, the audio is going up on the YouTube channel, but yeah, whatever. Fine, I don't care. We will have more content coming. I promise. Inconsistent. Go to Nolan TCG. No, don't go there. Go to Loza. Oh yeah, Loza, the Fuck best it. YouTube channel in. South East New South Wales. If you want to see, like, just Dark Magician Civil War bullshit, go yeah. there. Think the of... story of fucking, who was it? Uh, Joby or whatever? Uh, he released this the other day. It was like, this dude who comments on every fucking video being like, you suck! <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it. I'm, uh, I'm going to chuck Bragg a link, and Bragg's going to... No, I'm going to have to be the one who makes the fucking... Thumbnail, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to put a link to this video in the description. And for the two people who are still listening, go watch it. It's so good. He goes to war with this dude. Love it. If you want Table 500 content that is completely limited to Dark Magician, follow Loza. Link in the description. Otherwise, thank you all and talk to you again soon. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. Kum. Kum. I wonder what it puts in the um, transcript for Utrecht. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, how many words? <laughs> I like how it's paragraphed it too. Yeah, I like that.